Welcome to the part 14 and the final of this character modeling series. In this video, we are going to set up the material for our character. So let's get into it. Let's switch to setting tab. Then select the base mass. First we will set up the material for the skin. Then we can just copy and edit the node tree for the other parts. Press Shift A on the shader editor, then search for the diffuse BSDF, shader to RGB and color RAM. This is very common notes used for enemy shader and the NPR shader. Here I connected the diffuse to shader to RGB and shader to RGB to color RAM. Let's move this white handle to the right. Set the color interpolation to constant. This gives the cell shaded looks. But I like to have a soft edges between the lit and shadow part. So I always give the interpolation to linear. But if you like, you can set it to constant. Now let's move on to the next part. That is to combine our texture to this node group which give that cell shaded look. Press shift and search for the mix node. Place the node between this node connection. Change the data type to color. This is new mix node. In the older version, you don't have to do this. Change the blending mode to multiply and factor to 1 on that mix node. Click the second color on the mix node and sample the darker skin tone from the texture. Here I have taken one mix node. Duplicate this image and connect it to second slot and this mix node to the first slot. Arrange the nodes groups if you need. Now connect the color ramp to the factor of this mix node. Let me explain a bit now. The reason we duplicate the image cause we didn't make our SSS color texture. Don't be confused with SSS texture. We have a different use of it in our shader setup from the realistic shader setup. Here we have a normal base texture connected to the mix node which is set to multiply and that's gonna multiply our base texture which will make our base texture little darker. This will control the shadow on our model. Additionally, you can change the shadow color from the mix node. And this texture will be our base texture. We have seen that these three nodes create that cell shaded look with black and white color. Using this as a factor, we can define where the base and the SSS texture will appear on our model. Now let's add a fake rim lights within the shader. Add a layer weight and color ramp node. Connect the final to factor of the color ramp. Now if you press shift control and click on the color ramp, you should see what this node are doing. For this you need to enable node rangula add-on which is blender default add-on. Back to the setting, I have changed the interpolation mode to constant, then play with the handles. The white edge will be the rim lights and the main shader will be visible on the black parts. Now connect the color ramp to the emission which we had from the beginning. Make sure you connect it to the strand and not in the color. Ok, I just had to add the new emission notch. For some reason, there wasn't the color option. With this, we can also change the rim light color, which may be helpful. For example, you have a scene with cool tone, 
then you can change it to blue now let's combine all together i have added add shader nodes then connect our main shader to the first socket and the rim light to the second socket so that's about it now arrange the node setup if you like next we gonna copy this node group for the other parts so we then have to create it from the scratch let's select this node setup then press ctrl c to copy the nodes now select the other parts which has a different material then press ctrl b on the shader editor to paste the nodes we copy now in the image texture node click on the drop down menu then select the texture you need i am going to select the hair texture for the bot image node now if you click on the add shader node while holding shift plus control you see that shader have been applied to the hair we still need some changes on the nodes but for now repeat the same process for the costume as well Here we have this shadow color that was set for the skin shadow but we don't want that color for other parts. I just sample the shadow color for the hair from the hair texture. Now repeat the same process for the costume as well. But what would you do if your texture has a different color tones? For examples costume texture has a different color tone for the top and bottom in that case just duplicate the material for each from this icon in the material tab it will create a new material and keep the same node setup you can make all changes on this material without affecting the other one you can rename the material so you don't get confused for some cases, you can set the shadow color to gray or darker gray. Now duplicate the material for other parts which you think need the separate material. Then repeat the same process. For the eyes it looks ok but I wanted to have some glossiness. Add a glossy BSDF then add a mix shader. Place it between this node connection now connect the glossy bsdf to the first socket and the add shader to the second socket connect this image texture to the color input of the glossy bsdf Change the roughness to get the desired result. The eyes kinda look a little darker, let's try something, add a emission and mix shader, 
connect the emission to the second slot of the mix header. Now decrease the factor. Let's also connect the texture to the emission. Press shift and right mouse button then drag to create this road. Increase the emission strength to make the eyes little brighter. That should do for the eyes. Now repeat the previous process for the remaining parts. Now let's add a light so we can render it out. I'm adding a sunlight as a key light. Let's move it to the front and slightly to the left. Also rotate it in X axis so it's pointing to the character. Let's add a camera and position it. Let me save the file. Switch to animation tab on the right side press 0 from the numpad to go into the camera view now adjust the camera also change the resolution to your needs on the right side switch to the render view select the sunlight and go into light properties change the strength until the character is lit Let's add the area light which will be the fill lights. Now place it on the opposite side of the key light so it will lit up the hard shadow created by the key lights. Play with the power but don't set it too high. Also you should turn on this contact shadow under the shadow tab for the better shadow in EV. Duplicate the area lights and place it behind the character. Increase the power to lit up the back of the character. Make sure not to set it too high. Let's change some render setting. Turn on this ambient occlusion and bloom. Play with the bloom properties. Also in color management, change the view transform to standard, which is good for the NPR arts. 
so this is it for this video and this series i hope i was able to teach you something and hopefully you can create your own character now if you do you can mention me on your work so i can see your works with that let me end this series here and i will see you in the next one with new artworks thank you for being here with me till the end if you find this helpful please share this with others so with reach to the people who are looking to create their own character Jamata ne